So here is how to send a newsletter in system.io. It's very easy to do. And if you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link down below in the description. And if you click that, you can either use system for free or simply use it for easier login access. So there are a few steps that you need to follow first before sending a newsletter. First and foremost, let's go to contacts and under that is gonna be tags. This is where we are now. The reason we wanna tag is because this is going to be who we're gonna be sending a newsletter to. If we don't have any tags, we're gonna have some problems there. So let's just go to create here. I'm just gonna call this leads and then save. Okay, so that's set up, which is good. You can also go here in case you wanna see more information about it, but obviously nothing's in there yet, so that's good. Now what I wanna do is go over to a funnel. Here's a random funnel or a squeeze page that I created, and what we wanna do here is edit the automation rules. So let's go here on this specific squeeze page and go to automation rules, and let's add a rule. So funnel step form subscribe, let's do that. Let's go over here to the three dots and do edit automation rule. So add action. And there's two things that we can do here. So subscribe to campaign. A campaign is gonna be like an autoresponder. Obviously, whenever they opt in, they're gonna get that auto email, which probably might already be on. But this is also the important thing that you wanna add. So add a tag right here. Let's click on this. Okay, and what's gonna happen right here is we can go to our dropdown and we're gonna choose leads. That was the one I just created. So let's do that and let's do save rule. Okay, so normally, like I said, you can have that other automation rule about how they go into your opt-in sequence, you know, as well, but this is the one we're talking about. This is how you add the tag so that anytime they opt in, they're gonna get tagged and we can send a newsletter to them in the future. So allow me to show you an example here. I'm just gonna refresh this. I'm gonna enter in an email, go to the next page, and then we'll notice that the contact is gonna be under the tags. Okay, so thanks for signing up. Just a demo here. Let's go back to contacts. Okay, and we can just go here with tags. Reload, and if you notice, now we have one. That's gonna be the one we added today. So now we technically, anytime someone opts in, they're gonna be tagged under here. You know, whatever the tag is, it's gonna be up to you. Now it's gonna be much easier to do. So let's go to emails and newsletters. Let's create a newsletter. All right, so this is just an example. I'm not gonna actually write out the email, but it says YouTube videos with AI, James Cans, sender email. And I like classic, it tends to get better opens overall when you use less pictures. So I'm gonna go with that and click on save. And let's actually click on the email right here so we can edit it. Okay, so we have our subject. Preview is going to be a little bit more that someone sees. What's good about this is that it's kind of like a little bit extra. So you wanna make it kind of something that's gonna pique their interest, like it says right here. Uh, to keep it between 40 and 140 characters, if empty, the first words of the email will be displayed. So the email will be here. I'm not gonna write it out, right? You know, that's gonna be a different tutorial, but as you can see here, what we can do is do include these tags right here. So registered over zero days ago, and if we go right here, we can do leads. So this is a great way of sending just to like a specific tag section, which is always a good thing to do. That's why I started that off in the beginning because you might wanna separate some leads from others. You know, say in the example of internet marketing, some might be wanting to learn more just about YouTube. Some might wanna be learning just about TikTok, you know, or maybe some wanna learn about all of social media. We can send to both of those. So that's really gonna help you out. So we can go with that. This is just gonna be other personalization things. And of course, once you are done, you can save and test, you can save and send, or you can save and schedule. Let's say we wanna save and schedule, we'll click right there. And this is just gonna be, you know, when you wanna send it out. And if we wanna do save and send, let's click right here. Are you sure you want to send this newsletter now? Sure, why not? We have that random email I put in there. I'm just gonna hit confirm. Newsletter sent successfully. So that's gonna be that. We can also go back here and just check it out. Okay, email sent. Obviously there hasn't been any opens because you know it's a random email, but that's how you can send newsletters with system.io. It's pretty easy to do. And I think like the tagging section is gonna be very important obviously so that you know exactly who you're gonna be sending to. That should do it. If this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a lot as well. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.